Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 14th, 2022. Wow, my goodness, how are we? Halfway through the month, Thanksgiving is just around the corner, and we have a bull run that is pretty darn substantial. You know, there's something here that I think should be pointed out, and although we are pressing into, let me show you this, some very substantial resistance areas in the chart of the Dow, I want you to notice that there is something different here in this move. If you take a look at this rally that we saw in July and August, very substantial upside rally but I want you to notice that it was kind of plagued by declining volumes in that move to the upside what we're seeing here right now in, in, in a su substantial difference um, that we saw over here is that in this rally that we've had um, in the market we're actually seeing a growing amount of volume so what that means is in my opinion this over here was kind of an institutional head fake that hurt a lot of folks what we have here is a more substantial situation here where there seems to be a shift happening in the institutions thinking that well maybe things are um, improving here in the market now that doesn't rule out the substantial challenges that that we still face in this market and please keeping in mind that 7.7 percent inflation rate is still not a good situation for consumers and this is a consumer based economy so we still have challenges ahead that could uh, mean that we have some big point shifts even some big down shifts in the market still ahead but I think we have a little bit of a, uh, a change going on here in the market. So you'll want to be a little bit careful as we approach these big resistance levels in the chart. But at the same time, we may want to be thinking a little bit alongside might be appropriate here. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I know that was a much, uh, really long-winded intro here this morning, but I do think it's important to notice those subtle differences that we're seeing here in the market. Now, having said that, we do want to um, pay real close attention to this substantial resistance level in the chart. Doesn't mean we can't continue to run up and try and challenge again, but we should be watching for the possibility of a pullback. And unfortunately, because we have run so hard to the upside, the pullback could be substantial and it could be painful if you were late in rushing in on long trades here. As a matter of fact, it may be appropriate to be thinking about some kind of downside shift um, in the very near future, or maybe even a very long congested consolidation, because after a parabolic move like this, we either have to have a substantial pullback or we will typically see a long consolidation in the market that could be challenging. And remember, we're starting to run through those earnings reports here. We're kind of winding down this earnings season. We may be losing some of that inspiration and we may have to focus a little bit more on some of those economic conditions, layoffs and things like that that could be on the way. So if we were to see a little bit of bearishness one of the things i want to point out is if we pull back we've got some nice support in here now on the chart um, right through this area so if we get that pullback watch for support in this area of the chart and if we see those bulls continue to push through well i gotta say this resistance level right up through here could be pretty challenging for us to just blow right through. So watch that close in case we slam into that and see that reversal occur in the market. One of the things we do have to make note here is although this rally is substantial, it's also very parabolic and it's unlikely that we will be able to sustain a rally like that for very long. 
I mean, obviously we have sustained it much longer than I would have expected um, already, but it is running, uh, getting a little bit long in the tooth here in that stretch. And so a little pullback, a little rest in the market wouldn't be out of the question. Now, if we take a look at the SPY, SPY, well, the SPY has got a lot more challenges ahead. If we notice right in here, we're pressing up toward this downtrend, but we still got a ways to go to get up through there and if we take a look above you can see we have really big levels of price resistance yet to breach through and although this has been quite an upside rally um, as you can see we may have stretched away from this trend substantially giving us that possibility of a pullback that could be rather large uh, point move or we sink into more of a wide ranging chop zone here in the chart. Now, if those bulls can find that inspiration to keep on pushing, well, let's watch, look for some of these resistance levels right in here and let's watch for a pullback to that potential support if those bears find inspiration in the chart. And then if we look at the NASDAQ, NASDAQ continues to be the most challenged here of the market. And as you can see in this chart, we still have a long ways to go before we reach up there where we have it in the Dow, reach up there and challenge that overall long-term downtrend in the chart. And if we take a look at this, we have, you know, some pretty big resistance levels here in the chart that are gonna show up very, very soon to the upside. So if we can get that um, inspiration to the upside by the bulls, watch that level right in here. And then don't rule out that possibility after this stretch. This is a, a massive stretch to the upside that we don't see a little bit of profit taking, a little bit of a pullback, maybe a rest and consolidation in here. As a matter of fact, that would be the healthy thing to see here in the market if we were to rest or pull back, hold on to this support, and that sets up a nice opportunity. Uh, for the upside if that can hold. So watch that close. Now remember, we don't want to chase long. One of the things we want to do, one of the rules that I trade by, big popping moves like this, wonderful. It's nice to see that um, shift reverse in the market, but we need to see proof that we can hold these levels of support. One of the things we don't want to see here in the market is just a full reversal back down. And if we chase in there, we could catch that full reversal back down that could be pretty substantial. And we've seen that before right in here. So watch that close. And then if we take a look at our IWM, IWM made quite a move here in the chart. I need to adjust my line here, but as you can see, we've rallied up here and we're testing this overall longer term downtrend in the chart. And if we take a look across here, well, we have a pretty darn big level of price resistance that we're pushing up next to. So we'll wanna watch that closely. If those bulls have that inspiration and they push through kind of this double whammy of resistance, well, that would be substantial. And we'd wanna see if we do push up there a, a pullback or a rest or a hold to hold that area as support. But at the other side of the, that coin, we could also see a pullback from this area in here, and we'd be looking for some support levels if that were to occur. Maybe down into this area, a little bit more um, could be possible to a more substantial support level in the chart. And that would really kind of coincide a little bit more with this upside trend. We might need that resting period in here for the IWM to progress strongly forward from this point, but we'll have to wait and see. Let's take a look at um, that VIX here in the market. Now, interestingly enough, the VIX has been dropping like a rock and we've seen that fear drop out of the market. And I'm kind of worried here just a little bit because we've gone from such extreme bearishness to extreme bullishness that we may be seeing a little bit of complacency having built into this rally, meaning we just went a little bit too far too fast and we may have to rest a little bit um, or, or pull back. So don't be too surprised if we see some profit taking and Please keep in mind that that profit taking could come in with some pretty big point moves that could be a little bit painful um, if you happen to happen to rush in right at the end of the rally. Now, notice we've got some price support in here on that area of the chart, so it wouldn't be all that 
much of a surprise to see a little bit of bounce if those profit takers do come in. So watch carefully for that. And then if we take a look at our T2122, well, our T2122 is telling us that we are overextended in the short term. And I think everyone could probably agree the last couple of days um, of trading days here in the market were just so remarkably bullish that it probably puts us in a position of a little bit of consolidation or just a straight up pullback here in the market to um, relieve some of that upside pressure. So we're up here at that bearish reversal zone in T2122. And remember, we can linger up here for a while, but it, there's never been a time, again, I repeat this over and over, there's never been a time when we were up here that we didn't end up shifting back to the downside. So it all depends on how we shift. Do we do, we do it in light volume moves, a little bit of choppiness that shifts and relieves that pressure, or do we do it with a big point swing back to the downside um, if those bears attack? And I can't tell you which, just be prepared for that possibility. And then if we take a look at our T21, 08 or T2108 also hooked over here just a little bit on Friday, showing us that we may have kind of pushed this upside rally to a bit of an extreme. Notice up here, we're breaking through substantial resistance levels in the chart, and it's been rare over the last uh, you know few years that we've ever peaked this high. So I think maybe we might be reaching a little bit of an over exuberant. Um, top move here and a little consolidation or a little pullback may be appropriate. Now, keeping in mind that if we can hold support levels in this chart back down into here, there's no harm in just a little rest or pullback. As a matter of fact, it is a healthy thing for the market to do. 75% of the stocks above their 50 day or 40 day moving average, that's a substantial change from when we were down here just a little while ago. So remember, we've kind of stretched this pretty hard. And then if we take a look at our T2107, oops, another substantial shift here where we have not only smashed through these downtrends, we're breaking through resistance levels in here in this mad dash to the upside. And we do have to kind of consider that going from such a bearish condition to such a stretched position to the upside that maybe a rest or pullback could be appropriate here. And if we were to pull back into this area and find support, then the bulls hold on nicely. If we push on down in here, maybe a little bit more question, but please keep in mind, we've got quite a little bit of support down in here. So a little rest, a little pullback would not be um, out of the question. About 45% of the stocks holding above their 200 day. If we were to take a look at our T2101, now T2101 did make a little bit of a turn here. As you can see that momentum, that upside momentum that we experienced here in this rally may have shifted just a little bit. And so again, we want to be watching for a little bit of pullback, a little bit of profit taking maybe to come in the market. Could start at any time. And, and unfortunately it could be because of the, the drama of this move, the, the parabolicness of this move, we could it could be a, a rather painful point move in that pullback. So just be prepared if that were to start. If we take a look at our um, economic calendar for today, well, our economic calendar, we've got some things on here that we'll wanna be paying attention to. It's a very light day today, which gives us that opportunity that the bulls could try and push on through here today. Wouldn't be a surprise to me at all if they continue to try and shove to the upside, even though the futures are showing a little tiny bit of bearishness this morning. Um, we've only got a couple of bond auctions um, here today and um, Fed speaker. Now those Fed speaker speakers keep coming out and saying, hey, it's way too soon for us to be thinking about a pivot or anything like that, but they may downshift a little bit on those rate increases. And um, then as we move forward here, well, we've got quite a little bit going on here. We've got PPI on Tuesday, which certainly could be market moving either up or down. Keep an eye on that. 
Empire State Manufacturing. We've seen those manufacturing numbers not be so good. So our economic condition is a little bit challenged. And then I think this will be a real interesting report on Wednesday with that retail sales to just see how healthy that consumer really is. If they're really out there spending, um, we know that they're running their credit cards way up. We had record numbers of credit card debt. So keep an eye on that if those consumers start to show some shakiness here in their retail numbers, then there could be a problem. And our consumer sentiment last week showed us that they are showing a little bit of bearishness here um, on the sentiment side. So watch that carefully. Um, import export prices, industrial production, of course, petroleum status. We do have a couple other things. Inventories in here could be really interesting on Wednesday. And then we're going to start into some housing numbers. And our housing numbers have been a little bit well, they've been a little bit rough as well. So keep an eye here. We've got housing starts and permits. Then we're going to have jobless claims. We've got a Philly Fed on Thursday and then existing home sales. So enough on our plate to kind of keep us on our toes and, and maybe even challenge us with some volatility um, in the week ahead. Let's take a look at our uh, earnings calendar for today. Now, earnings are starting to wind down just a little bit. And although we have a lot of companies listed on the calendar here today, a, a, a large number of them are not confirmed um, on the day. And what we do have in this calendar is an awful lot of small caps that um, are reporting. So if you take a look at the morning blog, I listed a few notables for today. But again, these aren't the kind of companies that really move us a ton in the market. So we're going to start losing some of that um, um, earnings hype um, um, in the market. And that also kind of um, could bring in more of a consolidating move here as we just kind of uh, maybe absorb this big upside move. Um, first off, let's take a look at a couple of these. We've got uh, probably one of the more important ones will be um, Tyson here today. Keep an eye on that. Looks like it's trying to pop up here, come up out of this bottom. We've got VVV um, on that list. Big upside move um, here recently. We're running into quite a little bit of price resistance, so watch that closely. Um, ACM will be one to be paying attention to. Looks like ACM is trying to push up here this morning. Um, um, OTLY um, would be um, not so much of note. Um, I put it on the list. It, it has, uh, well, it could be an interesting one and just um, um, being a you know consumer defensive but be really careful um, some of these little tiny guys they can just take your head off um, in a percentage move so watch that close so with that if you want to catch the full list um, there's a link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to that morning blog how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon so um, it'll be um, you'll be notified every time you post or every time I post a video um, on the channel you'll be notified of that and I just want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that I, I I know there's everyone asking you to do those kind of things, but hopefully you'll notice I do put an awful lot of time and effort into these videos, and I do appreciate all that kind support. And if you click that um, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, that also helps a lot in helping the channel to continue to grow. So thank you everyone who does take the time. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks that could be setting up, and let's please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, we're going to have to do your own due diligence and just realizing that there could be an awful lot of volatility in the this week with this data coming out and, and this extreme stretch that we've had here in this upside move. First off, let's take a look at a couple things that I've set. Um, some alerts on. Take a look at LMT. Now, LMT went up really, really strongly here. I mean, just parabolic. And this is something that I think we have to consider in a lot of these charts that it, 
went up in such a parabolic move. I, the only reason I'm pointing this out is not for a potential trade right now, but just to show you the wild volatility that could occur after going straight up in the market. We could get those painful pullbacks and they could be sudden and they could be very um, uh, just very damaging to your account if you're chasing in at the last minute. That fear of missing out could be a real problem here um, over the next few days if we do start to pull back. So watch that close. Now let's take a look at a few charts that I think do have some upside opportunity that are starting to change here. And I think it may be appropriate to start thinking about a few more long trades. Um, we may have to have a mix of long and short here in the market. Now as a stock like AMD races back up here toward the downtrend, I'm not interested in buying it here in this stretch to the upside. But what I would be interested in is if AMD does take a little bit of a pause, if it rests or pulls back and holds a higher low in here, that's where I become interested in the trade. I want to buy the stock at or near a price support level to reduce my risk in the trade for the upside. And I'm seeing some of those stocks showing signs of bullishness here trying to pick back up. Now take a look at like NVIDIA. Now NVIDIA does have a problem here in the fact that it's going to report earnings in a couple of days. So I would wait on that but NVIDIA is another one of those where we've rallied right back into that downtrend. I don't want to chase it here but if we were to rest consolidate or pull back then I would look for that opportunity in the trade. And of course, I would not be buying this right ahead of the earnings report here in the chart. Now let's take a look at some other places here. We're seeing lots of stocks doing some very bullish things. And you guys had seen I'd placed this alert on 3M. That's looking really, really good to the upside. And here's what I'm talking about. When we get that stretch to the upside, then just be patient wait for that resting period to come in into the market we have a much lower risk entry into the trade when that occurs so that being said don't chase this wait for this to give us a little resting pullback or a consolidation in that chart and look for that next entry into 3M. You could look at some of these retailers that are starting to perk up here and really saw some big upside moves uh, Thursday and Friday last week. Popped back through this resistance. Now one of my patterns that I look for or that I require, you can see I had a price alert and this failed and it didn't push on through to the upside. So we we dropped down below support. The only way this becomes a bullish chart again for me is it has to recover that support and then prove to hold a higher low. So watch this in here. If this can rest or consolidate in here, that would set up that possible upside trend and I'd look for some opportunities there, uh, maybe in Nordstrom, so watch carefully for, for that. As you guys know, I mentioned Valero, made some money on Valero last week. I do think energy continues to be um, one of those interesting places in the market where we could see um, upside continuing to grow. Remember, we have a major diesel shortage out there and anything in that um, refining area may do pretty well. So keep an eye on Valero. You might want to keep an eye on um, um, Slumberger. You might want to, that's a nice little consolidating pattern in there. Um, Halliburton um, has really, had really stretched itself here and now is resting in that chart. Keep in mind we've got these resistance levels over here that we're going to have to be paying attention to but I think refining may have um, some more upside opportunity in it soon. You may also want to be taking a look at some of the commodity areas of the market as the dollar falls. Um, you notice we're getting quite a lot of volatility in the pre-market here on the dollar. Don't know exactly what's going on here but a lot of volatility showing up here here on EUP. Now with that going on, if the dollar continues to fall, let's take a look at some stocks like, well, DBC. DBC, we're seeing that volatility in here and well. And this is just showing us that link, direct link to the US dollar. If we continue to see these commodities, um, we should continue to see these commodities rally if the dollar falls. If the dollar rallies, we should see these pull back. So watch carefully. If 
if we pop through there. And we've seen a lot of stocks like um, uh, Copper, FCX, making some nice moves to the upside. A uh, little resting pullback here would set up an opportunity. So keep a close eye on that dollar. There's going to be quite a correlation with that. If we start to see that dollar rally pretty sharply again, then I would stay away from these or, or look for short trades. So be kind of careful here on some of those charts. Now, I know I'm running um, over time and I want to get this video out. So everyone, I want to say thank you very much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Um, I do think there was a shift that occurred here, um, has occurred here in the market. Volume is stronger. Institutions are showing a lot more tenacity to the upside. So there may start being, you may start one of looking for um, some mix here in the trade, but don't rule out the possibility of giant point moves, big whipsaws, and you're going to have to have, it's not going to be for the faint of heart because we still have a tremendous amount of economic issues to work through here, uh, not just in the United States, but around the world. Y'all take care, have a great day, and I'll see you right back here, bright and early, Tuesday morning. Wish you all the best.